Hello, family and friends. Welcome in. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am the Shaman Empress, and this is going to be an energy check in for the air signs. And we will take a look at you guys' money at the end of the video. So, this video will be for all air signs who have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in anywhere in their four places sun, moon, rising, Venus. And North Node. If you don't know of of your four sign placements, there is a link in the description box below that will help you. Okay, with that, knowing all four sign placements will help you get other messages you may need to know, and a bigger message if this is your message that came out today. Okay, keep in mind to only take the part that resonates and leave the rest because that could be for whoever else is here never force it to fit guys okay if you need to book something a little bit more personal i'm available for personal readings i also do one two and three question readings all right so let's go ahead and jump in and see what's going on with the air signs gemini libra and aquarius and on the bottom of the deck fertility Hmm. So, I look at this as a couple different ways. Oh, yeah. Somebody's getting enlightenment. Um, yep. I'm seeing a seashell, fishies, babies, peacock energy here. Yes, honey. Somebody here could be finding out very soon that they're expecting with fertility a pregnancy also a lot of you guys this could be abundance um you could be pregnant with new ideas um abundance um new um fruition that is coming in for a lot of you guys okay let's just go ahead and pull the message so air signs i am getting very 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 hot as i am channeling your energy so um hmm you could be connected with someone that you have deep feelings for. Um, maybe you guys are going through some kind of uproar as well. I'm picking up on. Okay. A lot of frustration and disagreements. There could be a lot of fighting at this time. All right. So let's take a peek in and see what spirit has for the air signs. Okay. Now well, that was quick. Um, let's see. So we have creation on the bottom of the deck. And it's in reverse. Yeah, something is not coming together is what I'm getting. Oh my gosh. Really? In reverse. And look what's back out. In reverse. Fertility and enlightenment. I feel as though there was a point in time where things were getting off the ground maybe you were growing a relationship with someone and now look abundance is also here in reverse it's just upside down i feel as though with wisdom in reverse yeah trans um transcendence and release everything that you thought it's not but however release is in reverse so i see it as if you're you don't want to let this go whatever this is inner beauty fresh start yeah See, you don't want a fresh start. I feel as though you want this to work. For some of you guys, this could be a marriage. Oh, forgiveness in reverse and expression in reverse. Ouch. And these are both, or she is. This came out in the earth sign reading. So you could be connecting with the earth sign. Okay. Um, with this kind of, okay, these are or she is. Some of you guys could be connecting to your or she is at this time. Um, Oya and Oshun is in reverse. That's something you never want to see. Okay. There's all kind of conflict and shit going on. I feel like, um, there's, there's feminine energy here that's upset. There could have been a lot of arguing and fighting. Uh, hopefully this is not something that went physical. Okay. May, um, I feel like your idea of livelihood, um, air signs is different than your person's or something like that i'm picking up on this is someone that you could have already had a child by okay we have the four swords I, there's a lot of distance and disconnection here so let's see what's going on with you guys almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits when it comes to the air signs gemini libra and aquarius what messages do you have for the air signs yeah, 
I feel like you want this person, their way of, the way you do shit and the way this person does shit is different. You guys might have like two different love languages, air signs. Yeah, honey. This is someone you are married to or have a strong connection with. Um, Aries, Taurus, energy. Um, you guys might need to study the five love languages. I feel like the way this person expresses their love to you and look, we have nine of cups and the hierophant as I'm saying this. Um, might be different than the way you express your love to them. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. All right. Um, you know, and love languages. So this person might be more of a provider. You might be more of a, like perfection. Okay, you're um, more loving, more caring, more open. And this other person, your person could be more, um, you know, giving, protecting. Okay, and that's the way that they express themselves. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, because obviously this is, for some of you guys, this is a marriage. For some of you guys, this is obviously something that you wanted here. Okay, and you don't want to let this go. Okay, and that's a feminine energy I'm picking up on here. So let's see what we get on the box. Come up the deck. Like I said, the hair font. You don't want to let this go. All right, we're going to put, yep. There's all kind of chaos and confusion. For some of you guys, I'm going to just keep it real with you. Your friends and family need to stay the hell out your business. Everybody's all in y'all goddamn business. We got the five of ones in the um, hair font. This is Taurus and Leo energy. I feel like there's all kind of people coming um in you guys' business. For some of you guys, if things got rock, you're a little out of control. Family could have also came over. Okay, like I said, yeah, look, Three of Swords. I was hoping that I wasn't picking up on, you know, um, that energy where you guys could be, like, getting into disputes is what I'm hearing. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so here we have on the bottom of the deck the Four of Cups. I've just getting this energy where you felt like what you thought it what you thought marriage was, it's not. Marriage is still a lot of work. Once you get married, okay, and you do, and you guys decide to take this step forward. Not only do you know you have to fight for that, once you get it, you have to also fight to keep it. Marriage is a lot of work and I feel like um there's a lot of burdens here. There's also a lot of interference here with others. This could be from family, friends, things of that nature. Three of swords is here. Now I'm gonna say this because it's here. There could be a little bit of infidelity. Now air sounds I also feel as though you have been keeping up with your person. I feel like you feel that there is a third party third party energy you could be um you know watching your person seeing what they doing to see if this person is cheating on you i don't know if you're following them on their um social media but you are um definitely keeping your eye your third eye <laughs> as they would stay on this person and that's what we do here on this channel right we open our third eye okay right now moving along um, I feel as though you also felt this, right? You showed up in your own reading. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra. Okay, Leo, Taurus, Taurus there, okay? So let's jump into this. Tell me more, Spirit. And like I said, we got the Four of Cups. You're, you're not happy with how things are. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? Tell me more about the three of swords spirit why is that here the three of swords why is the three of swords here the three of swords why is the three of swords here the three of swords and it landed right on a three of swords yeah somebody here is being two faces somebody here is living a double life you might yep nine of swords i feel like you're wondering if this person is um you know living a double life and for some of you guys this person is this person is um hot in a relationship or could be cheating a nine of pentacles is someone who is single, okay, um, on the bottom of the deck. Give me more than the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here, spirit? Tell me more. Two of swords, two of swords. Ace of ones in reverse. Ace of swords, the full card. I'm seeing this two different ways. For some of you guys, um...
for some of you guys, when this person gets in their feelings, they can get a little bit of physical here. Okay, with this um, two, two of Swords and this Ace of Wands, I don't like this energy. Period. Here, and we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, and I was just saying that. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, for some of you guys, the last time you guys had an argument and things got a little out of control, you your family could have had to get involved because there was some kind of domestic violence here this person um got in her feelings and things went too far here um give me more on the ace of wands in reverse spirit oh boy why is the ace of wands in reverse spirit tell me more judgment yeah honey yep in reverse yeah i feel like um a lot of you guys could be your friends your friends and family could be telling you that um you need to realize the truth in this relationship and leave this person alone yep four ones some of you guys they could be telling you that maybe you need a divorce or you could also be thinking this okay more of the judgment in reverse why is the judgment in reverse spirit judgment in reverse yeah, see the Queen of Pentacles is also um um someone who is single. Um, she is also um abundant on her own. Okay, in the strength card. Yes. And that's what I feel like you're starting to feel like. I feel like you just feel like this is not what you thought it was. This marriage, this connection, whatever this airs air signs, it's not what you was and you're ready to move from this. You're ready to move forward from this with the world card here. Um that's, that's just what it is. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Give me more on the page of swords. Page of swords. Why is that here? Page of swords. Tell me more. Page of swords. Page of swords. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. See, you're. I feel like you're planning to get away behind this person's back. Some for some of you guys, you want out this goddamn relationship. I'm gonna just call it what it is. I feel as though for some of you guys, not all of you, take it how it resonates. The part that got physical for you was it, it was it was your last straw. Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, you're over it. That was your. That was like um it for you. Yep, the hangman in reverse. You want out. For some of you guys, that was your key. That was your cue, okay? This is done. Um, page of Wands in reverse. You no longer see you guys being able to work on this or move forward here, okay? I feel like you're ready to just wrap this up and just let this go, okay? And work on yourself for a pentacles, okay? Here, yep, and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, um, you know, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow energy. Knights are usually very guarded. Um, but I feel as though right now that you're just like going over, you know, like, you know, if you should let this thing go, if you, sh if you should stay that kind of thing. But I, I, you know, some, I, I, you know, I don't know your situation. I can't speak on everybody's personal life, but if this is something that is turning physical and it is, um, getting out of control and you got family and friends coming over, you know, because of, you know, all the chaos and confusion here. Um, yeah, it's something you might be wanting to contemplate and think about here. Ten of Wands. See. And you see in this court, the Knight of Wands. Look at him. This person is acting like an animal out of goddamn control. See, I, this is some shit right here. I don't know, y'all. This is something where... I don't know if you should stay in. Look at this person. Furniture is everywhere. Look at this. Furniture everywhere. You know, if he don't like what he's hearing, what he's seeing. Look, the mirror's broke. Look. This is the, the bitch's arm is laying right there. Like, I mean, come on, y'all. But he didn't. This man is out here acting like a goddamn orangutan. About nothing. The food ain't right. The house ain't clean enough. It could be anything. This is it. This that that's what I'm saying. Physical abuse. Six of Pentacles. Wishy washy. Back and forth. This person also could be someone who plays with money or hold money over your head. I don't know something like that. And I do pick up because it's here. And I'm gonna say this third party energy. But see, look, the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So um, yeah. So this could be um, you could be um. You guys can have a child together there with the Queen of Cups there. The King of Swords and the Six of Wands. See? 
And see, that's what this Wheel of Fortune is here for, I bet you. I feel like some of you guys are, they're about to, somebody about to get their walking papers. Four of Cups and the Three of Wands, what I say, boom. This shit is drowning. King of Cups. I'm hearing that song, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no. Yeah, somebody about to get their goddamn walking papers, child. The Queen of Wands. It's time for you to take action. You know what, guys? And look, in this card, you see how she got one eye open, one eye closed? Some of you guys are putting on makeup and shit, hiding this abuse from this person that's been putting your hands on you. For some of you guys that is letting it get that far, no. It's time to put an end to this shit. No, 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 no. And no wonder why um, Oya and Oshun is here in um, in for in reverse. See, and we have forgiveness. Some of you guys, it's not about you're not forgiving this person this time. That's done. It ain't about the kids. Some of you guys, this person is using children over your head. Okay, but expression Oya's here. Some of you guys are definitely um, connecting to um, an earth sign. I'm hearing fertility. So we're going to read fertility. Okay, guys. And see what that is about. Um, and it's in reverse. Okay, keep in mind it is in reverse. And I feel like this is something that no longer you should continue to water to grow. It's over. I don't give a shit if there's kids or not. Um, when it comes to... I, I just... You, you know, like I said, I can't, I'm a spiritual advisor, you know, I can't tell you what to do with your uh, life. I'm here to give you spiritual advice through the messages that I am receiving. Some of you guys going to have to really sit down and figure out what you want in your life because at the end of the day, this is a choice that you have to make and what you want in your life. You need to do some prayer work, some self-healing work, you know, and really like, you know, get get yourself together here. Um, let's let's read fertility from the Celtic goddesses. Okay, this is a Celtic goddess. The time is right for you to bring forth something new, whether it's into the physical, spiritual, or subconscious world. Goddess of fertility and fate is urging you on, and that is in um, reverse. Okay, it's time to let this go. Period. Um, for some of you guys, I'm picking up on an energy where you, um, could have forgiven this person over and over and over again. And they just keep, you know, putting their hands on you. I'm going to just keep it real for some of you guys. You know, this person has a problem. And look, here with the four of cups, I don't feel like this person is proud of doing these things. You know, but this is a problem this person has. And I'm going to call it like I see it. And it's funny because it's right here. And I was just going to say this. Some of you guys, this person needs counseling. This might be someone who does need counseling, who does need some healing work, who does need some healing help. And until they get that, they might not be able to give you, you know, your idea, dream of love and, mag and, and magic. Okay, that magic life, that magical experience that we all have as kids when it comes to marriage and commitment right here with the higher form energy of what that would be like. Okay. Ooh. All right, air signs. I am um, like, you know, I was not expecting that. You know, that's, you know. So I am praying that all you guys are safe out there, okay? Because, you know, things can get dangerous, especially when feelings are involved, guys. So just, you know, keep that in mind. I love you, air signs, okay? All right, so let's go ahead um, and jump into you guys' money portion of this reading and see what spirit has for you when it comes to your money. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirits, when it comes to your beautiful air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what do you have for finances and career? Finances and career, what do we have? Work. Okay, so I feel like right now, you guys are in, in grind mode, I'm hearing, okay? Um, putting things in fruition. <laughs> excuse me, guys, you know when I channel energy, I burp, excuse me. Mm. I'm channeling work hard, play hard is what I'm hearing. You're channeling Jen that um you're ch um channeling that energy where you're in that build mode, okay? What else spirit do you have for the air sounds when it comes to finances and career? Finances and career. Ooh, fairs. Some of you guys could um have some fairs when it comes to work and self work. 
self-worth. You know what else I'm getting for some of you guys? Yeah, and we got body. I feel as though some of you guys could be in some work where, um, look, boom. We have clenching. Where is there tightness around money? What could shift what um could shift to make things flow instead of constrict? Now check this out. Some of you guys could be in a work environment that um doesn't appreciate you. You could be overworked here with work and body and fears. Okay, they don't see your self worth. And for some of you guys, you're finally seeing this when it comes to your jobs part um of this reading. When you think about money, what sensations do you notice in your body? Tightness, tingling, re relaxation. Where do you feel this? What are the sensations here to teach you? And that's what I'm saying. Like some of you guys are overworked and underpaid. I mean, I'm talking about like, you know, I mean, I've been in that physical labor before um, where I have even experienced like back issues. Some of you guys are like working where you're like working to your back hurt, your feet hurt, your legs hurt and your managers and your bosses don't appreciate you or you know you're going through issues where you're having favoritism and people are coming um on top of you and you're putting more work or they're getting credit for your work is what i'm getting here also feels though um some of you guys could be overworking because money is tight right now and i know we're all going through a situation um in the um nation here um as a collective where COVID is a big thing um, right now. And, you know, it's affecting us financially in all different kind of ways. So some people could be taking jobs up, extra jobs up at this time and that nature, what's out there, what's available right now. And you could also be doing something that you're not, um, you know, really wanting to do here. So let's see here. Yeah, making decisions, hard decisions with that Aries energy. And I see the house there. Ace of Wands, that's also fire energy, right? Fire is actions. That's also Aries Leo Sagittarius energy where you are, um, you know, working hard, making hard decisions here when it comes to your money, right? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit, when it comes to the air signs, what do you have um, for their finances and career here? What messages would like to come through from the Most High when it comes to the air signs, finances, and career? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit, what do you have for the air signs, finances, and career? Finances and career. Finances and career. What do you have? Finances and career. Yeah, Page of Cups. I feel like you are, um, yep. I feel like you know, um, for some of you guys that are stuck into this job. And some of you guys, um, you know, businesses have faded away, okay, and also took a decline. Maybe you have even picked up shifts and did things like that. And you are now realizing, like, how much, like, you're not appreciate, appreciated here. I'm telling you, for some, that's what I'm picking up um, for some of you guys here. This could be for a small percentage of you. Where you're just really, you know, going through this transition here. You really um got a chance to see how unappreciative your job is of you. Because I feel, I'm feeling like someone who is really hardworking. I'm picking up on the energy where some of you guys, you know, pick up that overtime. Grab them hours. Pick up where other people slack. Yep, six of swords. And it's time, you're realizing how it's just time for you to move on here. Okay, give me more spirit. Give me more. Yep. It's just time for you to move on. Maybe you guys want to start doing things that you love. That came out a lot in a lot of readings. So three of Wands is about distance, Aries energy. Um, and I feel like this is what Spirit has been pushing um, all of us along. is to like um, invest in and start doing things that you love. Whether it is that business, uh, small businesses, partnerships, whatever that thing is. It's time for you to build it. You know who you are. Some of you guys are extreme hard workers and you need to start putting that energy into yourself. Look, judgment, right? Judgment is called. You call judgment, judgment on this. For some of you guys, your ancestors, your spirit guys and um, angels have been pushing you to go into this um, direction as you should because it's going to pay off. It's going to be fruition. Look, Knight of Swords energy here. Oh my God, in the world card, I pulled right from the bottom of the deck. Boom. It's time for you to grow this business. It's time for you to do this business. For some of you guys, you really are hustlers. Um, for some of you guys, you could be, you know, um, I am picking up on dancers. Okay. Um, take that how it resonate, you know. 
Um, you could be doing that for the Ten of Pentacles, you know, for money. Um, some of you guys could be using, um, you know, your body, okay, um, and things of that nature. As, you know, I, I, it could be some stripper energy here. And this is um, for you to lift up that business and to put in money for yourself. This is could be breaking you down because that's a lot of body work. And I know um, a lot of people who speak on that, who, you know, they talk about, you know, you know, you grinding on people all night and you on your knees doing it. What you got to do? You know, I'm not judging. You know, you, you a hustler. You hustle. Do what you got to do as long as you're doing it for the right intentions. And you know you can't do this forever. Okay. Okay? And also with your self-worth here. Some of you guys are doing what you got to do. And this is not something you really want. You know, you can't do this forever, ever, right? And that makes sense why I was picking up on that energy where unappreciative, undervalued, okay? And you know, this is one of those jobs where those things does happen here. But, you know, you're doing this to get your ten of pentacles. So, you know, honey, make your money, boo-boo. Don't let it make you. Okay, we don't judge here at spiritual nourishment. We here to get the spiritual nourishment, right? So we can nourish the spirit. That's what we do. Yes. Okay, guys. Air signs. That's what I have for you this week for your energy check in and money. I hope this gets to those that need it and it helped those that need it. It's the help. Okay. I love each and every last one of you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell and you're hitting all so you can get all the content that I release. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for all the love and support and donations friends and family i greatly appreciate that if you would like to donate to the channel you can do that everything you need to know is in the description box below that will help us continue to build and grow the channel and get our messages until next time air signs ashay